Educators within Tulsa Public Schools tell us the number of students on free or reduced lunch is growing every year. If Senate Bill 297 passes, districts could fill in the gap at no extra cost. Currently, the law says extra food from the cafeteria has to be tossed out. We have people that would like just show up and they would be watching to make sure like certain things weren't shared and that it was thrown away and it wasn't reused. And I was just shocked. But many TPS families face food insecurity. In response, teachers commonly use their own paychecks to provide food in the classroom. We buy extra food. We keep it in our desk. We make sure our kids have it. I had a high schooler, looked like a full grown man, but he's still a child, right? He just looks like one pass out in my door one day because of low blood sugar. Representative Melissa Provenzano will consider this bill in the Common Education Committee on Tuesday. For years, she was principal at Nathan Hale Junior High, where all students receive free or reduced lunch. Every kid that walked through our doors needed some sort of support, um, ate breakfast at the school, ate lunch at the school, and then went home. And, you know, it's so many nights, I'm like, I know that there's nothing there in the cupboard. Provenzano is hopeful this will ultimately lead to greater success in the classroom. If students are well fed with the right types of nutrition, then they're able to access um, information that they find in the school day much more effectively and process it better. The bill says schools would package up unused foods and partner with nonprofits to pass out on campus to those in need. Reporting in Tulsa, Megan Allison, Two Works for You.